Last time we put a truss on the Sterling 10 and a half. Today, it's the Dana 60's turn. So for the Dana 60, I've got another truss. It's from Artec. This is their low profile truss uh, for the Super Duty uh, Dana 60 and in addition to putting on the truss I have the hydro ram mount um, that is also specifically designed for this axle so first I'll get the the truss on here and uh, I'll weld it up and everything and then we'll do the hydro mount all right, very similar to the Sterling truss on the rear. Uh, this one comes unwelded from Artec. Um, it's got two, two big main pieces that are on across that are held together with these uh, locking joints. And then this big arch that goes over the top. And then over here, this is what, this is the amount that you have to shave off of here to get this to fit properly. And it's actually kind of nice that they leave this piece off of here so that I can get under here and get a nice solid weld right all the way across here. And then this, even with, even with the truss welded on, you can still um, get this piece in there so you can leave this out until the last, the last minute and then weld it in after you've got a nice weld there on the inside. And here's what it looks like from the front. Um, I had to do a little minor trimming right in this corner here just to get it to sit down a little bit, but it comes pretty close to the, the housing there and uh, in the back really well. So this one, this one was a lot easier to fit than the, than the rear one. So now that the truss is sitting on the axle the way I want it to be, I'm just gonna do some tack welds uh, on the truss so that I can pull the truss off of the axle and then completely weld up the truss, put it back on the axle, and actually weld it to the axle. Those welds look pretty good, I think. And um, I threw a little bit of primer in the center. That is a high heat primer, so it should be able to withstand the next step in the process pretty well. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. All right, well, now that the truss is all welded up, it's time to weld it onto the axle. And of course, I'm gonna preheat the axle uh, somewhere around 300 degrees-ish, and then uh, slowly uh, make welds all over the place so that I don't damage the, um, the axle itself.
truss is welded onto the axle. Um, next step is going to be to get this um, hydro mount assembled and then weld that to the axle. All right, so the way this appears to work is that these pieces are going to weld in here just like that, these three, and then eventually they'll mount up on the axle and weld onto the truss and the axle just like that. And this whole thing will be up here and also weld on the ends, of course, and then probably along this bottom edge too. And then there's a brace that bolts on up here so you can still access the uh, differential. All right, I got these tacked down. Now we'll see how it lines up. Hopefully it does line up. All right, so I'm running into some interference with the, uh, the welds I put out here on the ends of the axle. So I'm gonna have to remedy that. See, it should just go straight on from right about there, but it can't do it. All right, this is actually lining up pretty nicely with the help of a floor jack here, kind of holding it up, which is cool. But there are these pieces that go on here. So this goes on here as a support right there. And uh, two bolts go in here and four bolts go in here, and that lines up pretty nicely. The thing is, this is the bracket that the bolts go into, which I need to weld up here. The problem is, is that I put a weld bead right here. <laughs> so this won't go in far enough because, because there's a weld bead right there. So I gotta grind that out of there. If you're installing one of these, don't put a weld bead right here. <laughs> All right, I got that weld out of there. So now I can fit this bracket up here. All right, I'm not quite satisfied with where these are at, so I'm gonna grind off these tacks and uh, move them back a little bit. You can see maybe um, you can see right here. There's a little space, and so where to put these in there's just a little bit of play and i guess they should be right up to that edge i think that'll work the best so i'm gonna untack these and re-tack them so that they're right on that edge
fits on there. It looks pretty cool. It's like a built-in skid plate for the the steering ram. Um, some awkward position welding, so I'm not going to dwell on that. <laughs> but uh, I think I think it'll hold up all right. But uh, it's a pretty cool pretty cool setup. I don't have this on there yet, but uh, I'll show you that at the end. All put together. So. The only thing left to do now is uh, weld on the cast. So I'm gonna load up my um, my nickel 55 wire and preheat the heck out of that differential. Then I'll weld that up and cover it in a blanket like I did last time and come back and check it out in the morning. All right guys, welding on the cast is complete and um, I've got it covered in fiberglass blankets here. So it's gonna stay really hot, probably all night. Last time it was still a little bit warm after eight hours. So uh, that's just to slow it cool, to prevent uh, the welds from cracking and to prevent the housing from cracking. That would be really bad. So anyways, um, yeah, everything, you know, went pretty well. Had some, uh, eh, you know, some crazy welds uh, on a couple parts, but all in all, went pretty well. We'll check on this in the morning, and um, yeah, see you in the morning. Thanks for joining me for this Dana 60 Artec low profile truss install with the hydro mount. It's a lot of welding to do on this one. Um, again, you know, not all my welds are really beautiful, but I think they're going to be strong and that's what really counts. This cooled down overnight and I don't have any cracks here in the, any of the cast or in the welds. So I'm pretty happy with that. Totally satisfied. And uh, with this front uh, hydro mount down there, it looks pretty cool. This thing is gonna be heavy uh, with the brakes and everything and all this trussing and things on it. Oh my gosh, it was heavy before. It's gonna be crazy heavy now. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for coming along and uh, joining me for another truss install. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already so I can share new content with you every Monday and Thursday. And so you can follow this build and we'll see you next time.